everyone, my name is Jay Delore, and today I'm going to share with you about the interview that I did. This interview are composed of two parts. First part is about her basic information or personal information, including her full name, age, the name of the school where she currently teaching, what subject she handled, and how many years she's been teaching. And the second part is all about her profession or her life as a teacher. And now let's move forward to the first part, which is her personal information. Her full name is Janice Isbidolor. She's 29 years old. She currently teaching in Burabod Elementary School. The subjects she handled are all subject and last, She's already three years in teaching. And now here is the part two, which is her life as a teacher. The first question that I asked her is, for you, what is an ideal teacher? Okay, for me, an ideal teacher is that a teacher who possesses very good qualities like kindness, knowledgeable to her subject and equipped with so many strategies on how to deal with his or her students. And of course, an ideal teacher will always encourage students and inspire them to do the right thing in life. He or she should make students feel comfortable and confident in the classroom as possible. And the second question is, What is your teaching philosophy? My philosophy in teaching is that I think about my, when I think about my role as a teacher, one thing that I constantly focus on is the relationships between the between me and my students. I enjoy having conversations with them on subjects and issues that are important to them, and learn how they are feeling about and experiencing the world and the material that we are studying in class. And the next question is, what do you feel are the biggest challenges facing today's education system? Okay, I think the biggest challenges that our education system is facing now is that first, lack of motivation in students, second, digital literacy and technical issues, lack of in-person interaction because of what we are facing now, the COVID-19 pandemic, Dropout rate, out of studio, and I think the mismatch. And the next question is, what are your suggestions in order to solve these problems? I think uh, I would suggest. I think we have to be more resilient in in facing those kind of problems. And the last question is. What message can you give to those who aspire to be a teacher in the future? Uh, my message to those people who aspire to become a teacher someday is that believe in your success. I mean, believe in your students' potentials. A teacher's success begins with the success of their students. Learn everything you can about your field. Be fun and energetic. Take risks and be creative in delivering your lesson. And now, let's move forward to my reflection about the interview. Well, choosing a career or profession is not easy because you don't know if it is suit for you or belongs to you. But our surrounding can influence our like or dislike. Therefore, it cause of confusing or sometimes it cause for a wrong decision. When I was young, I didn't know what profession that I'm going to be. But every time I saw my teacher wearing the gorgeous uniform, makeup, and the praise and the respect that they got from their student, I feel that being a teacher is a good choice as my profession someday. That's how I illustrated a teacher before. The day was passed, I figured out that being a teacher is not easy as I think. By the help of social media, I gradually knew how stressful of being a teacher. Behind on their calm appearance, they're facing a lot of problems that they need to deal with it. 
Aside from being a teacher, they need to act as a substitute parent or guardian during on their duty. But sometimes, even on their rest day, they can't ignore to do their responsibility, especially now. Communication is very convenient because of the internet. That's why I agree to what teacher Janice said about what is an ideal teacher for her. According for her, an ideal teacher is, it should be have a good characteristic, like being kind, knowledgeable, approachable, and being a good role model, so that our student will be inspirable on their studies. But how can I achieve to be a good teacher? Well, in that case, I appreciate what teacher Janice advised. I realized that I need to open arms embrace of my future profession. I need to enjoy and accept all the struggles during the process before I get there. I aspire to make difference in other lives through education. I feel great when I heard an advice from teacher Janice. Aside from that, I knew her in personal. I personally saw her dedication for her profession. And I feel how she really felt graceful when she's starting to teach. That's the time I started to view myself to become a teacher. I feel like my future student success is my big success. I'm thankful to teacher Janice to help me to boost my self-esteem so that I still can pursue to become an educator. I can't wait to meet my future students, make a conversation with them, and most important, I am too excited to share my knowledge and they learn from it. I know on this time, those characteristics, I still don't have it. But because of this opportunity, I'm gonna use this as my guidelines for preparing myself to become a future educator. Despite of all burden of being a teacher, I'm still looking forward to get my goal. And someday, I personally help my daughter to come out from her shell and guide her on her success.